What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Wow, did I mess that up? Emerald? No, I meant Pokemon Emerald. That's right, guys. Okay, so in our last episode, we explored Route 118, Route 111, Route whatever, and in this episode, we're going to try and knock out, like, two stones in one. Uh, this whole route and uh, the Weather Institute. So, here we go. Now, talk to this guy. He's like... I thought you fly by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging on them somehow. But it turns out that there's an HM co a move called Fly. I wish I'd known that, uh, known about that a long time ago. Hmm, that's kind of funny. Now if you go in here, you're gonna see the results. He has six Wingles. You're an idiot. A big idiot. Now if you talk to this lady here, she's like, I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumor that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could something like that really happen? Probably. I don't know. I've never been to the Cave of Origin. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. So, we're going to be exploring a bunch of places right here. This place is basically like, you know, home to a bunch of Pokemon and what have you. What I'm going to try and do is I'm actually going to just explore whatever I can and battle whoever I can. Now, right here, you can't really do much. Um, the only things you could find here is grass. A, uh, let's see, Pokeball right here with a Zinc, a Brushes right here for a secret layer, and a Pokemon Trainer right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch them up. Thank you, Raphael, for your services. Now we're going to be switching it up to uh, our good old buddy, Shroom Lee. He's like, you spoke to me. So you want to challenge me? Sure, I'll try out the Pokemon I caught while surfing. Okay, alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. So here we go. Fisherman Chris wants to battle, and he's coming out with us. Wow. Magikarp, really? I hope... I, I, I seriously hope you message me, or you are one of the people that messages me later for a battle. That way you can evolve these Magikarps, because if you don't, and if you're not, then you are a fool. You're wasting my time. Oh no, he has a tentacle. Okay, alright. I can deal with that. Alright, let's go with the strength attack right here. There we go. Shroom Lee, kicking butt since day one. Alrighty, alrighty. And then, uh, Fisher. Oh, Feebas. Now, you can actually find Feebas in this area right here. The problem is that Feebas is one of the hardest Pokemon to actually find in Generation 3. Uh, it turns out that, you know, you, you got them. You got like less than 1% to find him, and it, it all depends on, like, what kind of squares you're in. It's hell, guys. It is hell. I do not want to capture a Feebas. I, I am comfortable with what I have. That's why I, you know, thankfully you guys chose a Mudkip for me because it would have been hell just trying to capture that the, the Feebas. And then evolving it. Yeah. It would have been bad. It would have been bad. So, there you go. Carvana finished. Shroomly kicking butt. Everybody's getting levels. That's good. Say goodbye to Chris. He's like, I don't have a clue what it is to take to win. Oh, I don't know, you fucking evolve your Pokemon. And he doesn't uh, give try and get my number, so let's go. Let's move on right here. So moving on forward, there is a big patch of grass, and for this for this route right here, you need uh, make sure to grab yourself an acro bike because uh, there are areas right here where you actually need the acro bike to move around. And before I do that, I'm just gonna grab these uh, berries right here because let's grab the berries. Let's grab all the berries. Now, you can actually find secret bases right here, too. And uh, I'm going to use that acrobike. Now, remember, you can jump side to side. You can move, and you can bounce. So that's what we do right here. Look at that. And uh, let's see. Is there any? No, you can actually find a secret base right here. And uh, let's see. What else? Another secret base right there. Two cool places. I, w I don't know if I want to switch over there. Alright, so the propels effect went out. I am going to move out of the way now. And I'm actually going to try and battle some more Pokemon trainers right here. So, it's like, can your Pokemon use secret power on a big pile of grass and make it a secret base? Heck yes, it can. And I know there's a trainer here, so let's go straight to, uh, to Skyblade right here. And... Here we have, oh, look at you. For someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. Okay. Mm, yeah, probably because I never eat or I don't know, sleep or whatever, but it is what it is. Bring it on. Bring it on. Here we go. Skyblade ready. Air cutter attack. Let's go. 
Look at that. Gloom. Defeated. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. Coming out with a Roselia. So let's just stick by right here. Skyblade, a steel type Pokemon. Slash Lime type Pokemon. We'll never get poisoned by you. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye, Roselia. Oh, yeah. Okay. And look at that. Skyblade grows to level 32. I think I should take that experience share now because it finally grew. It grew to a strong enough Pokemon right there. You know what? I think I will. I'm going to give that to uh, Swamp Lord. That way it can grow just a little bit more because it hasn't battled in quite some time. So let's take that and let's go give that to Swamp Lord. Where are you? Swamp Lord was already holding the soft sand. Okay, we can switch that out. And a sink. Special defense. Iron. Revive. Smoke ball. Hard ball. Hmm. A macho brace. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I, I like my speed where it's at. So let's move on right here to this cave, or not this cave, but the, the bridge. As you can see, you're gonna be finding more trainers. He's like, who has knowledge and the technique for survival? Pokemon Rangers, that's who. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. So here we go. Pokemon Ranger Jackson, and he's gonna come out with his own Breloom. Okay. Say hello to my Skyblade. Skyblade, air cutter attack, and oh crud. He starts off with his Mach Punch first. But here we go. Air cutter. Is it super effective? Heck yes it is. It is super heck yes. Yeah. And uh... Well, I guess that's it, right? I didn't have enough Pokemon know-how. Yeah, you really didn't. And, uh, well, as you can see, we get his phone number, too. So, let's move on right here. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna find... Oh, okay, double battle right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and use uh, Swamp Lord. I want to use Swamp Lord. Alrighty, bring it. These two guys, two potential of my bird Pokemon. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Bring it on. Fill in what's your face. And, uh, crud. I think I chose the wrong Pokemon for this one, right? Didn't I? I did not. Okay. Never choose wrong. Let's go with Air Cutter. And let's go with a secret power on to you. And there's that wing attack. Not so effective. Not very effective. Swamp Lord with the secret power. And I think that was like a body slam or something. It was. Look at that. Takes him out. And, uh... Skyblade, Ear Cutter. Alrighty. And we're going with that secret base. And that Swellow is faster than us. How in the heck is it faster than us? I want to know. Are you taking Poke Steroids? I think you are. The Poke Steroids. And look at that. Swamp Lord grows to level 38. Finally. After a while. And, uh, okay, lack of potential. That's right. We defeated both of you. Alrighty. So nobody wants to give me your number. And uh, we don't have the mock bike for this one right here, so we're going to have to go around. But we can grab this, the Hyper Potion. Also a very good thing. And uh, I think there's another trainer right here. No, not really. So we're making our way right here. Now, you can go through here and grab this, which is an elixir. And, uh, okay, so that's it. And I think we have uh, two other trainers right here. So... Let's go and switch them up. Now let's let's go with Raiden right here. Alright, bring it. So as you can see, ho oh, ho, I like poke I like kid trainers. Let's have a good one. And this guy comes out of nowhere. He's like, if you're not on your own guard, you're in the, for some pain. Okay, bring it. So here we go. Kindler, Dayton, and Ninja Boy Takashi. Not 6ix9ine, just Takashi. Thank God he's not 6'9", because I swear to God that guy is ridiculous. He's an abomination to this world. Yeah, you guys heard it. You guys heard it. Here we go, Surf Attack. And Shockwave. Here we go. Shockwave Attack defeats you. And there we go. Swamp Lord about to... Oh no. He's about to attack both Pokemon right here. Oh, just wait. Just wait. Here we go. Both Pokemon going down. Look at that. Slugma defeated. Coughing defeated. Easily. So easy. 
Look at that. And uh, Raiden grows to level 33. That's good. Swamp Lord, not growing to level 39 just yet. But here we go, coming out with a Numel. And, uh, okay, alrighty. Let's go with a return and a Surf Attack. Let's see what that does. Oh, yes. Numel just taking the damage right there. And there we go. No more Numel. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Victorious, all of us. We're all victorious. Okay. All right, moving on forward right here. I think that's almost all the trainers. No, we got one more. One more trainer right here before we go into the big one. And uh, let's see. Take on, then take it on this guy. The vast sky holds untold promise. Nothing can compare it to the sheer exhilaration of flight. Okay. All right. Bring it. So there we go. Birdkeeper Hugh wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Wingle. And uh, I'm going to come out with a Raiden, the Lord of Thunder right here, with a Spark Attack. Alrighty. And there we go. No more Wingle. Say bye-bye. That's right. And he's going he's gonna to be coming out with a Tropius. Now, those who don't know what Tropius is, here's a fun fact. And this is what I learned when I first started playing Pokemon Sapphire back in the day. I learned that Tropius is also a flying type Pokemon. Didn't know that, and it, it kind of amazed me because it's like, how can that fly? I want to know. But it is a very good Pokemon to actually have on your team. Pretty slow, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. And as you can see, bam, defeated him. Raphael grows to level 32, and everybody's, uh, you know, doing their thing right there. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it right there. And, uh, huh. Would you look at that? Lookout duty is surprisingly boring. Hey, you! Don't go near the Weather Institute. We're standing lookout here. Hey, you! Stay away from the Institute. Okay. Alright. Anywho, it is time, guys. Let's do this. The Weather Institute. So, something's going on in this area right here. Let's see. First is first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have to put a Pokemon into the into the PC. There, is, there should be one Pokemon that I should put in the PC. Let's see. Who has no chance in this against them? I'm going to put Skyblade into the PC alongside my other trusty Pokemon. And I'm just going to leave one spot open right now. This guy's going to say, Well, I was sleeping. Everyone went upstairs. <coughs> and I coughed. And... Yeah, let's take a rest first before we uh, go battle this guy. Alrighty, let's go. Let's do this. Bring it. So here we go. Huh? What's a kid doing here? Dun 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 dun. dun. So here we go. Team Aqua Grunt coming out with a Carvana right here, and the Carvana is gonna be facing my Raiden right here because Raiden is awesome, just like the, the Lord of Thunder. Alrighty, look at that. Easy victory for us. One, two, three. Defeated. And uh, no more. Hmm. Okay, you've been defeated. Alright, there's another Pokemon trainer. And this is, guys, like, the boss got interested in the research they have going here. So he went, uh, and so he sent us out. You quit meddling. No, I will not stop meddling. I will stop you guys at all costs. Because I am awesome like that. And here we go, Team Aqua Grunt wants the battle, coming out with a Zubat. Man, they're picking, like, the wrong Pokemon against me. Okay, Shockwave. Yeah, Shockwave for the win. Alrighty. So there we go, no more Shock or no more Zubat, and he's gonna come out with a Poochiana. So let's go to Shroomly right here. Okay, bring it on. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Mock Punch for the win. Oh, yeah. No more Poochiana. No more Poochiana right there. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there. So, blasted by the kid. Defeated. That's right. Okay. Let's move on right here. Not much of a challenge, guys. They really aren't. And here we have a double battle. So, let's see who we have. Yeah. You know what? Swamp Lord, he's going to do, do the best he can right here. So, here we go. 
The Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with uh, the weather. We're here to take them. Hmm. Don't tell me you're looking for that weather Pokemon too. That's a no-no. We're here to get it first. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. So we got two Team Rocket or Team Aqua Grunts right here, and uh, of course they don't have really strong Pokemon. They don't. So I'm gonna come out with my strong Pokemon, and I'm gonna destroy every single one of you guys with a singular attack right here. Shockwave. Alrighty. Alrighty. And Zubat, you like? They should evolve Zubat. Seriously, why would they keep it at its base level right now? And, uh, well, here he comes out with another Poochina. But let's see if these dogs love their water right now. And, uh, just like that, that's one. Doesn't like the water. And two. Doesn't like the water. So that's a double knockout right there. I'm loving that. That's good. Our Pokemon are just so strong. And we got one more to go. And, uh, well, there's that Carvana. Okay. Bring it. Let's go. Shockwave and Mudshot. Okay. Alrighty. Huh, just like that. Look at that. It's easy. Easy victory. Easy victory. Look at that. Both Team Aqua Grants, and he's like being spoiled by a kid. Yeah, that's right. I'm kicking your butt. How about that? Okay, so that's one down, and we got. Well, we got one more to go. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. He's like, We're Team Aqua. We appear wherever everything, anything rare is found. Hmm, how about that? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. So he's got three Pokemon right here, and he's going to come out with his Bucciana. Kind of reminds me of Shadow. You know, maybe I should bring Shadow out just to battle. I don't know. I probably should. I kind of miss the guy. Probably should evolve him. I don't know. But there goes that Bucciana. Bye bye And, uh, Team Aqua coming out with his next Pokemon right here. So I'm going to stay with Raiden and uh, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna use that shockwave attack because yeah shockwave awesome good move oh yes buh bye Zubat oh yeah and uh, look at that Swamp Lord grows to level 39 and it's trying to learn muddy water okay so it's kind of like a muddy a really really muddy uh, <laughs> muddy surf attack so I am gonna take out Mudshot because Oh, it's muddy water. Technically, it should be a ground type move. I don't even know why it's a water type, but whatever. And uh, here we come out with another Carvana. So we're going to stay right here. And we're going to just defeat him with uh, our good old buddy Raiden right here. So let's go. Shockwave. For the win. And, uh, well, Carvana defeated. No more. And uh, look at that. You got me. Yes, I did. I got you. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for the grunts. Now we talk to this lady, and she's like, ha ah, ha 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 You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs? You're either absolutely fearless, or simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting, I'll put you down, kitty. Hey, at least she thinks I'm cute. I'm not offended. Hell no, I'm not offended. So here we go. Team Aqua admin, Shelly. And she's gonna come out with her Caravana right here. I like the Shelly in, in Pokemon Auras. It's a lot hotter. I don't even know why. So there we go, Shockwave. Alrighty. Shockwave, will it do its damage? That's right. Does its damage. Bye bye. And, uh. Let's see. What else do you got? Oh, Mighty Anna. Let's switch it up. Let's go with Shroomly right here. Let's go. Bye bye. Hello. And what do we have right now? Come on, bring him out. Of course, he's going to have his Intimidate effect. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this Mod Punch. Because, you know, screw it, Mod Punch. It's fast. And uh, nearly takes out Mighty Anna right there. And this guy's just going to go straight for his bite. But, oh, I was about to say, it's affected by my effect score. I'm going to say that. Okay, there we go. Say goodbye to Mighty Anna. Everybody's getting experience points, and there goes Team Aqua uh, Shelly, and she's like, ah, you're disgustingly strong. Why would you be laughing at that? I want to know why. 
it's bad enough that Team Mag or Team Magma blunder. Or wait, 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 wait. Let me re reread this. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you want to sniff uh, around in our business anyway? And uh, this guy's like, we have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed to Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. Ha 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 ha. Team Magma, just you wait. And this guy's like, thanks. Thanks to you, we're safe. It might be odd, uh, uh, not a way of thanking you, but take this Pokemon. And we get ourselves a cast form. That is the reason why I left a, an open space. And mm, no, I'm not going to. Oh, actually, you know what? I, I should name it something. I'm going to name it this. I'm going to name it Storm after Storm of the X-Men. Let's see. That's right. Storm. Name it Storm. That Pokemon changes shape according to the uh, to the weather conditions. There's plenty of them in it, in the institute, so go ahead and take it. Alrighty, and this guy's like, I've been researching rain for many years, but it's ridiculous that to think that humans can freely change the weather. Okay, I I, I guess that's cool. I don't know. I don't know. But we're done right here, guys. Um, in the next episode, we will be heading straight to the next city. I think it's Fortree. But in the meantime, we're going to stop right here, uh, take a rest, and, you know, do our business. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.